Well, it took less than a week for protesters to ignore a new safety zone law outside of Louisville's downtown abortion clinic. Some were standing directly in front of the entrance as patients came and went. And LMPD is being criticized for their lack of response to these violations by some of the volunteers at the clinic. So, Brooke, we did hear from LMPD over the weekend, but how did this whole thing start? Rob, it all started right here where we're standing inside that safety, that buffer zone. It's about 10 feet in width here outside the EMW clinic. You can see the yellow lines here on both sides. I mean, a lot of MSD work too, but this is going to be the focus of what people were talking about, that safety zone where anyone coming in and out of the clinic is supposed to be able to go in without being harassed by protesters who normally would gather here with their anti-abortion signs. Well, on Saturday morning, that was not the case. We had some proof, at least one photo circulating on social media along with others uh, shared by a clinic escort of volunteers on Saturday with someone standing right there in the restricted area holding an anti-abortion sign. Clinic staff said LMPD was called, but officers never showed up. Now, LMPD, on the other hand, did push back a bit on this, saying that officers responded to two of those calls here at EMW on Saturday. But according to the ordinance, officers must witness the violation to give a written warning. And a warning must be given first before issuing a citation. We spoke with Metro Councilman Cassie Chambers Armstrong, who said more needs to be done. Well, said, I'm not going to obey that law. And so I think knowing that it was really important for the police to come out and make sure that people understood that this is now the law. Um, this is a space that's designed to, to keep safety at front of mind and that it has to be respected. LMPD says they are working on the logistics for tracking the written warnings and enforcing the ordinance, but given their staffing issues right now, say it's not feasible to post officers outside the facility. We have been told that LMPD has also been in touch with the county attorney's office, as well as members of Metro Council to try and figure out exactly what should be done to help prevent this from happening again. Rob.